Okay, we are playing some Double Dragon 2 on the NES. Uh, main reason for this little playthrough here is just to check out some uh, syncing with some new video software that I've got. Um, yeah, Double Dragon 2, NES, my personal favourite game from the NES library. Mainly because it was one I was able to finish. Um, but I might end up eating my words because I have not played this game for a good, I would probably estimate, 15 years. So starting off like any other side scroller, beat him up on the NES. Uh, we're out for revenge. Seems to be your usual cliche backstory. Uh, the protagonist's girlfriend's been taken by uh, an evil group of thugs, and we're gonna. Side scroll our way to get her back. Level one, here we go. So playing this on the um, NES emulator on the on the Wii, um, so using the Wii remote, uh, not using that as an excuse. But there used to be an awesome move you could do after landing from a jump. Uh, you could spring back up and knee these guys halfway across the screen. There it is! Uh, so, I don't want to fall into the trap of blaming the remote, but I'm not having much luck <laughs> demonstrating this move. So, I have to go with some old school just fisty cups. God, this music brings back memories. Go the old school way, just with a good old fist. So, as you notice, I'm playing this on Supreme Master. There goes the knee again. The reason for that is uh, the first two difficulty levels only allowed you to play through. Uh, well, put it this way: you didn't have to, you weren't able to complete the game if you didn't play Supreme Master. Uh, you got up to I'm pretty confident it was pr just prior to the boss fight, and then it's like, no, nah, if you want to get any further, you have to play Supreme Master, which me being probably ten years old at the time, uh, that was a bit of a kick in the ass. I pull off the knee, I can't really connect though. And we're back in the old school, and this is the only game that we had on the NES, or one of the only games, so for your usual uh, Super Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 3 when that came out too. Um, used to be able to knee across virtually a whole level. Webs are well and truly stuck now. And I'm probably going to lose a life trying to do this move that I can't connect with. Even the cyclone kick you should be able to do just um, to jump in the game, it's A, B together, and then uh, at the peak, if you were to hit one or A and B together again, yeah, you're able to do your cyclone kick. At the moment, I was getting polexed by the proverbial ball and chain. Let's see how this faux hawk lesbian likes it. Ugh. There's a knife to the back of the head. Okay, let's continue on. Well, I'm halfway through my credits, 
still got three lives to go. I'm hoping I can get to the end of this level without losing a life. I like judging by the way I've been playing, and that ain't gonna happen. Level 1, getting towards the end. <laughs> the AI for a side scroll is pretty good. Uh, multiple enemies that always try to get around the other side, uh, duck your attacks. Okay, coming up to the last boss in the old school. My brother and I used to play this game as Billy and Jimmy, uh, two players. Just to lure him over to the edge there. One of us played decoy, the other one would jump on the other side and knee him off the edge. Uh, I'm going to attempt to do that now. I don't like my chances of pulling off a knee or of surviving this fight for that matter. But we'll see what we can see what happens. There it is! One credit left, three lives remaining. So off we go, heading over to the heliport, um, trying to catch up with Marion. Might take a break there, because this level has taken an unusually long time to finish, so we shall resume and um, see what happens when we get to the heliport.